you have to answer the question, am I canceled or not? Is he canceled or not? So there's all sorts of still ongoing controversy with the Dave Chappelle cancellation, the further racist attacks against a comedian of color that does nothing but try and make the world happy and open a conversation and a discussion to everybody to get the giant stick out of their backsides and their their giant collective patooties but no but no but no nobody's happy everybody's upset everybody's ringing and triggered and we're at a very sensitively planned time in history that i think a lot of people weren't anticipating with the crazies going this crazy as to we're haunted i didn't even click a button i scrolled i think i scrolled to my window capture we're haunted it's a spooked possessed it is october it is the season for dave Chappelle says he's willing to meet with the people who have a list of demands what do we call people who have a list of demands right i i don't know what do we call that because in this day and age there's not a word for it anymore i mean do we bend to these people who have lists of demands and are and are holding our entertainment and our freedoms and our choice hostage like this what what do we call those people is there a t-word that might begin with i don't know is it is it turn they simply don't make terrorists like they used to. Turn an on and on, on a depressure. That's what it is, isn't it? Sure, the next ever depressure. Sure, sure. Why not? That'll be the word that they are. Sure, the, that's what he was trying to say, right? Willing to meet with Netflix employees. Well, this is not quite how he worded it by the way he said wait a minute i'm willing to meet with them however however that's a couple of days old the article he has clarified it he says he's willing however it's been said that i was invited to speak to the transgendered employees of netflix and i refused that is not true if they had invited me i would have accepted although i am confused about what we would be speaking about I said what I said, and boy, I heard what you said. My God, how could you not? How could I not? You said you want a safe working environment at Netflix. It seems like I'm the only one who can't go to the office, Dave Chappelle continued. To the transgender community, he added, I am more than willing to give you an audience, but you will not summon me. I am not bending to anyone's demands. Even though the media frames it, that it's me versus the community, that's not what it is, Dave Chappelle says. Do not blame the LGBTQ plus community for this. It's about corporate... Well, we've got the actual clip of that. That's what we're seeing here. Which we have to actually... And shout out to the Brother HQ account here who actually has the whole clip. This film that I made was invited to every film festival in the United States. And some of those invitations I accepted. And with this controversy... We're cutting off his head. We don't mean to do that. We don't want to do that because that's voodoo and we don't want to voodoo anybody. No voodooing the comedians, right? <laughs> Came out. Can you hear it? About the close-up. They began disinviting me from these film festivals. Uh-huh. See, this is what we like to call canceled. You know, they did this to Vic Bignana. They do this to any public sort of guest at conventions you know somebody who might i don't know generate some autograph sales they just to anybody anytime the activists zero in their witch hunts away away because that's what these people are these are people who are just zeroing in and finding the witch or the evil or the racist or the offensive and they go so so far as to not even listen to what comedians are saying if they if any one of these people had actually watched it they wouldn't be offended and this is a completely different thing with cuties being offended by cuties from what you see in a trailer to know that that's like a little crossing the line from the trailer like that was my stance on cuties i didn't want to sit there and watch it go any further than that because i was uncomfortable watching it with this however these are jokes designed to take shots at the lgbtq plus community which Despite what a lot of people think, right? 
is not one one homogenous thing. And and this is what he's getting into here a little bit. Should we want to hear? I, I, we should probably listen to what he says here. And now, today, not a film company, not a movie studio, not a film festival, nobody will touch this film. Thank God for Ted's Randall's and Netflix. He's the only one that didn't cancel me yet. Yeah, yeah, he'll bend to the woke mob if they, if they, uh, complain hard enough, right? To the transgender community, I am more than willing to give you an audience. But you will not summon me. I am not bending to anybody's demands. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> what? What gives these people, any people, the right to say, we're offended and we are going to drag you to our grounds to berate, humiliate, correct, purify, and make an example? Do you want him to carry a cross on his back while you're doing it? And if you want to meet with me, I'd be more than willing to, but I have some conditions. First of all, you cannot come if you have not watched my special from beginning to end. That's that's only fair. That's only fair. Because if you watch the special from beginning to end, you understand the context of the wording of how he calls himself a turf, how he calls himself. And I guess that's what the trans-hating feminist people who think that trans women aren't women or something. Everybody, like, there's always gonna be a group of people who hate people, too. There's always gonna be a group of people who hate another group of people. It's called tribalism. You must come to a place of my choosing and a time of my choosing. And thirdly, you must admit that Hannah Gatsby is not funny. Is that that one comedian chick who, uh, yeah. People are crybabies. They can't take a joke, can't handle criticism, can't tolerate anyone who has a different opinion than what the mainstream media politicians dictate. The news isn't news anymore. It's one side gets their side and the other side gets their side. I desperately want people to see this movie. But I understand why investors would be nervous. Since nobody will touch it, I'll tell you what I'll do. I will make it available for all of you in 10 American cities going on sale in the next few days. You will be able to see this movie in its entirety and you can see what they're trying to obstruct you from seeing. And you can judge for yourself, but you can There's a whole bunch he continues on this one. You got that and then you got the last few seconds. How much of this thread? and exclude my voice from it. That is only fair. You have to answer the question, am I canceled or not? <laughs> then let's go. Thank you very much and good night. So he's talking about, for, for people asking in chat here, it's an untitled documentary. Okay, who's definitely, Dave Chappelle, who's definitely canceled to screen new documentary? Who's definitely canceled? Well, like, well, Rolling Stone says he is. Okay, so Rolling Stone says you're canceled, then maybe you're canceled, buddy. So Rolling Stone says he's canceled, who's definitely canceled? <laughs> oh, I got a Bobcat Goldsweet article where he doesn't uh, believe that. Maybe I should find him on Twitter and send him this one. Popular and influential comedian who also says he will give marginalized trans community an audience. I disagree that that's the trans community. I thought I heard a version of that stating that... So those people who are genuinely upset and offended and hurt by whatever he says in this that they found so offensive, right? They think that they have the right to control how everybody who identifies as LGBTQ plus feels and acts and thinks. So it's an uh, untitled documentary here and they're showing it in a few cities san francisco minneapolis so nothing nothing in denver or anything i'm surprised he doesn't have it as a fathom event i guess he probably just raised the money himself so he did not state which films festivals had rescinded their invitations 
I am so tired of cancel culture making it so that Oh, well, we're offended by something you said, so therefore you can't come to a convention. Therefore you can't promote your thing. Therefore you can't have access to your fan base, right? Because more people do that than you realize. And this this crap where people think that cancel culture... Oh, no, it's just consequence culture. Well, wouldn't the consequence be nobody showing up to get his autograph? If it was the wrong thing and wrong think then maybe you wouldn't have so many people disagreeing with you actually wanting to hear what he had to say or actually wanting to listen to the fact that, and I hate to say this, a special not being the funniest thing ever, it was probably a 6 out of 10, it held a huge mirror up to how exclusionary a lot of the LGBTQ plus communities can be. It held up a mirror to how tribal a lot of these sub-communities the further and further down you get into these little tribes, we're really only, we're only like one freaking EM pulse away from living in caves and throwing sticks at each other again. Based on, oh, you're near my proximity and think the way I do, therefore we're safe here. And you're to the point you can't even disagree with somebody in your own tribe about something without forming another separate sub-tribe. And it's just getting so... Old. It is getting so old. And then you have people like Bobcat Goldthwait here. So is Dave Chappelle canceled or not? I have no idea. I'm segueing into the next thing and I'm probably going to clip it for the next article here. Is Bobcat Goldthwait relevant anymore? No, he's not at all relevant. He's saying that cancel culture doesn't even exist. Thanks for watching! If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button, and if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe! See you in the next video! Bye! Gotcha, bitch!